Hey folks and welcome back to the next video in this uh, small group of four um, three and three quarter inch black series uh, action figure reviews. This time we've got the Imperial Death Trooper. Um, this is this one's going to fly off shelves if people can get them. Um, I picked up a second one the other day, so yesterday. Um, so I've got two of these now, so I'm absolutely stoked. Um, I grabbed another one of the Scarif Trooper as well. So, um, yeah, I'm always happy to have two per troop. If I can find more, if they go on a bit cheaper, I'll grab a couple more. But, um, yeah, couldn't help myself and had to get another one because these troopers just kick ass. And I hope it shows up well because being all black makes it a little bit tricky. So I'll do my best um, to give you guys a really good look at this thing. Because it's, it's always been difficult with Vaders and stuff, trying to get them on camera. Sometimes they just... Sometimes the black just does not want to, it's not want to jump out. But I think I may have fixed the uh, lighting issue. I've got a little bit of a not so coarse a light. Um, so this one's a little bit softer, not so not so glary. So it's cool. The packaging in the background here. It's got the Death Trooper, Imperial Death Trooper, no number again. It's got a little blurb up the top there. And the same on the sides. So I'll put that aside. Let's have a look at him himself. Um, also, if anyone can get a hold of the three pack, the Target six inch three pack, with the six inch version of this particular one with the pauldron and the ammo belts and stuff like that, if anyone can get a hold of that, let me know because um, you'll be willing to organize a trade or PayPal or something like that. I just, it's not released here. So anyway, back to this thing. Um, I'm not sure what to call this one. Um, yeah, because, you know, it's, he's got the pauldron, like I said, he's got the extra weapons. I don't know if he's just another death trooper or he's a commander of the crew, um, being Krennic's bodyguards, but there's like three of them out of the five or six or whatever. So I'm not really sure, but until we get a, um, like a visual dictionary or something, but the death troopers are tough, such a good helmet design. And um, accessory wise, comes with the blaster. Again, I don't know the name of this thing yet. But looks cool. Looks slightly like an E11, sort of with the blaster underneath bit there. But on top, it all looks different. It's got the fold out stock at the back. It looks a little bit tougher than the E11. Also comes with this little this little blaster pistol which looks like the TIE fighter pilots blasters but it's a little bit different I think but there's nowhere on the figure to store this unfortunately so I'd sort of put it in my accessory box but that's cool so yeah details are good I'm gonna go through what I've done is I've taken the uh, the belt this um this whole belt is all soft plastic and there's a peg which you can take it off so I've, I've got the other trooper which I'll show you afterwards but for now we'll, we'll just take a look at the belt the pauldron at these accessories here um, they're all fixed but um yeah you can undo the unclip the belt and take all that off and make them just standard death troopers um, also this belt comes off which I don't know why you'd need to but helmet design is really good. For the most part, it's all black paint. There's a few little grey elements there on the on the wrist armor there. Um, grey on the thing up there. <laughs> Which the six inch one didn't have. The six inch one kept it black. So um, yeah, just a few little other grey elements. The green on the bottom of the helmet. You can just sort of see that in the sort of semi green tint to the goggles you can kind of see that got the on and off switch which I thought it was when I was a kid on the stormtroopers but pretty good pretty nicely detailed let's just go have a look at the uh, standard standard death trooper without all the without all the gear so again you buy some buy multiple of these you can have them armored up more or you can have them like this which looks cool I like them like this more so than with the armor. 
again it's a bit tricky to show this in the light but hopefully you can get a good idea so you get a good look at the uh sort of all the armor underneath articulation wise this guy's got a ball jointed head ball hinged shoulders ball hinged elbows ball hinged wrists a torso torso joint um no swivel under that Got the ball jointed hips, swivels at the thigh, which are nicely hid under the armour there. Uh, joint, jointed knees, ball hinged knees, and ball hinged ankles. So, awesome articulation on this guy as well. And uh, yeah, moves quite well. They display really nice. I just picked up the three and three quarter inch Krennic. So, I'm going to have these guys just sort of sitting behind him, and they'll, they'll look sick. Um, so yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd like to get another two or three, you know, just to round out a cool little squad for Krennic. Um, yeah, let me know what you think in the comments below. I'll have one, I've got the Scarif Trooper coming up next, who should be a lot easier to see. <laughs> um, he's a bit brighter than this guy. But nevertheless, I just wanted to show you this one. This is a cool figure. I'm really impressed with it. It looks good in hand, um, despite the fact that it doesn't come up very well on camera. Had I used the brighter background, it would have stood out even more, but I'm a idiot and don't realize these things until six and a half minutes in anyway like i said any comments and feedback leave drop them in the comments below and uh yeah hope you enjoyed and until the next video may the force be with you